Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to fix the parameter is incorrect hard disk error and how to extract files from a disk if such error occurs. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The parameter is incorrect error may occur when you least expect it, and it will make you lose access to all files stored on the hard disk. In this situation, you need to know for sure what to do not to lose important data, how to fix the error, and how to restore access to your files. The parameter is incorrect message typically appears when you try to access and modify files on local hard disks, USB drives, and external hard disks. Also, it may occur when you try opening a file or formatting a hard disk. It's quite difficult to identify why exactly it happens. This issue may be related to a faulty motherboard connector, the disk connector, damaged file system, or a faulty hard disk. Talking of how to fix it, there are several methods that will help you get rid of the error, restore access to your files, and recover the items you need. Some methods applied to fix this problem may erase the hard disk, so for starters, we recommend recovering data from the disk. If you need to recover data quickly after this kind of error occurs, use a specialized data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. It will help you recover data from hard disks and external storage devices, and do it after files were lost because of accidental removal, formatting, system failures, or file system damage. This is a versatile tool to solve data loss issues, including the parameter is incorrect error. Download and install the program, and then run it. In the Drive Manager, find the disk to recover data from. Here you will see all available information about that disk. To start the recovery process, right-click on the disk and choose Open. Now select the scan type – File Scan or Full Analysis. For starters, we recommend a file scan. It will take less time and it can find lost files in most simple scenarios. As a result, the tool will scan the disk immediately and display all files and folders it has found. Then go to the folder where the deleted files used to be, select the items to recover, and click Recovery. Specify where to save the files, choose the disk and folder. After that, click on the Recovery button again. In the end, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. For convenience, use the search feature. Type the file name here, and the program will list all files it managed to find on this disk. Now all you need is to recover them. If the utility failed to find the necessary files, then run full analysis. Go back to the main window, right-click on the disk and choose Analyze again. Full analysis, specify the file system and click Next. Full analysis takes longer to complete and the required time depends largely on the capacity and condition of the disk. When the scan is over, go to the folder where the deleted files used to be, select them and click Recovery. Now, let's explore several methods of fixing this error. For starters, check the connection between the disk and the computer. Make sure that the USB cable and the corresponding USB ports are not damaged. Connect the external hard disk to one of the USB ports on your motherboard. Try using a different USB cable to see if the error persists. Another method to fix the problem is to configure decimal separators. Depending on the language, various symbols are used as a decimal separator. 
For example, in French the decimal separator is a comma, while in the British English the decimal separator is a point. Your decimal point may have changed into comma as a result of some third-party software installed. Open Control Panel Region In the window that opens, go to Additional Settings. Look at the line decimal symbol to make sure that a point is selected. Restart the computer and try opening the disk again. Another method implies modifying the registry. Just make sure you follow the instructions closely, since any incorrect steps may result in a system failure. To open the registry, press the key shortcut Windows R and type regedit. Then follow the path H key Local Machine Software Microsoft Windows Update UX. On the right, you will see a value with the name Is Converged Update Stack Enabled. Right click on it and change the value from 1 to 0. Click OK. Then restart the computer and check if the disk error occurs again. If the error persists, open the registry and follow this path H key Local Machine Software Policies Microsoft System Certificates. Right click on an empty area. New, D word 32 bit value, assign it a name, copy file buffered synchronous low, and set its value data to 1. Click OK. Restart the computer and check if the error appears again. After all previous steps, it is recommended to check the disk for errors with the Check Disk Utility. It will check the disk and repair file system errors. Launch the command prompt as administrator. Then run this command. Here, specify the drive letter for the faulty disk. While the command is performed, Windows will try to repair all file system damage on this disk. When the process is over, restart the computer and check if the error appears again. Also, this error may occur when the file system is damaged. To fix it, use integrated utilities such as SFC and DISM that will help you restore integrity of the system files. Type the following in the command prompt and follow this command with another one. Wait until the scan is complete. If any files are damaged, Windows will try to repair them automatically. It is also recommended to check and update disk drivers. To do it, right-click on the Start menu, Disk Management, Right-click on the disk and select Properties. In the window that opens, jump to the Driver tab. Update Driver. Select Search automatically for drivers. As a result, Windows will find the latest version of this driver. Make sure that your PC is connected to the Internet. Repeat these steps for all disks, then restart the computer and try opening that disk again. If the error is caused by wrong format or file system type, one of the solutions could be disk formatting. However, in this case all the data on the disk will be erased. That is why we recommend to back it up or create a disk image. Such image can be created with a tool called Hetman Partition Recovery, which will also help you recover the erased files. To create an image, select a disk in the main window and click on the Save Disk button. Make sure that your computer has enough free disk space to save the image. Select the directory where you want to save the image. After that, you'll be able to upload the image into the Recovery tool and scan the image to recover your files. Right-click on the disk and choose Open. After that, it will appear in the Programs window. Select the necessary items and click Recovery. In order to format a disk, open Disk Management and remove all partitions from the faulty disk. If some partitions can't be deleted, it's better to remove them with the help of the Disk Part utility. Run the command prompt as administrator and perform the Disk Part command to start the utility. Type List Disk to display all connected disks. 
Then choose the disk you need using its number and then type the command clean to erase all disk partitions. After that, you can go back to the disk management and format the disk. To do it, right-click on the disk and choose Format. Make sure you have chosen the right file system. Click OK. After formatting, try opening the disk to see if it can be done without getting that error again. As you can see, the parameter is incorrect error can be fixed if you follow certain recommendations. And the specialized data recovery software will help you save the information if the only way to repair the disk damage is by formatting it. Always remember to back up important data, as this will help you prevent loss of important files in situations like that. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.